If you're new to Siemens PLCs, then you probably discovered already that they have thousands upon thousands of manuals and documents up at the Siemens support website. And as a new user, it can be tricky to know exactly which ones you need to keep on hand and uh, which ones you don't. And so in today's video, I want to share with you what I found were the five most important Siemens documents for me to keep on hand as I was getting used to programming and using the Siemens PLCs and wiring up for the training class I'm doing and uh, just all around the books I think that most new users will want to keep a copy of on their hard drive. And we'll start with the ST70 catalog. Now this has all of the S7 PLCs and it has the 1200, the 1500, the 300, the 400. It has the distributed controllers. It has distributed IO and so on. And so this is a great book. If you're not familiar with all the catalog numbers yet, all the article numbers as Siemens calls it, this is a great book to keep on hand because it has all of that right there for you. And it's very easy to navigate to. Now I'll put a link to the Siemens support site in the description along with a link to our demo of using it, our tech tip. But with that, I want to move on to number two, which is the S7 Programming Guidelines Manual. Now this manual includes a lot of great information, it includes a lot of programming tips and examples, it includes information like you know, using multi-instance blocks. You can see that on page 49 and then downloading without reinitialization on page 53. It includes notices about using those memory and system bits on page 62 and information or retentive tags, memory, and how much each CPU has on page 64. And then over on page 77, you'll see a recommendation to use SCL for calculations even inside of ladder routines. After that, the next manual I'd recommend is the style guide. Now this manual has a lot of information and recommendations specifically on nomenclature that you want to use inside of your project. It also includes a list of standard abbreviations. And towards the end of the book, there's this really cool style guide cheat sheet, which kind of puts everything together in one place. Now the fourth document on my list is the programming languages comparison list. This document has excellent tables comparing things like which modifications require the CPU to go into stop mode. And it also has dozens of tables comparing how the programming languages differ between CPUs. Now for the final document, I recommend checking out the Cymatic Automation Tool Manual. This is a utility or tool that even if you don't have a license for, it can do all kinds of great things. And you can see here, even in the unlicensed or free mode, it still does a lot of neat things for free that I think most users will find pretty helpful. And with that, those are my top five manuals and documents you can grab over at the Siemens Industry Support site. Again, I'll put a link to that and a link to the demo we had Siemens do for us in the description. I also wanted to talk to you about my course, which is on sale right now. I'm covering the Siemens S7, 1200, and 1500. And I wanted to talk to you about two different books that I got that are awesome if you prefer reading versus an online course. These two books, I'll put links in the description, but these two books I used extensively during my course, getting all the uh, curriculum put together. They're both excellent. This one, now this comes in different colors, but this one is great for new users, just starting to use it. It's easy to understand, it's well-written, um, and it's also doesn't include anything else you don't need. It doesn't include information on other PLCs or histories or all kinds of other stuff, just the brass tacks. And it's really excellent. It's a good, nice thick book and it's awesome. And then, um, this book, there's two of these, one for each line, the 1200 and the 1500. Um, these are the, what I would call the essential reference guides for the S7 CPUs, the 1200, 1500. You can see I got all kinds of, uh, little note, uh, tabs in there. Um, they're just phenomenal. Now these, they, they cost under a hundred bucks, but they are still kind of pricey, but I think they're worth every penny because they're like the, you know, ultimate reference guide for the controllers. So with that, I'll put links to those in the description as well. And with that, if you found this video helpful, please give us a like and a sub. And until next time, my friends, peace.